What's going on? It's Mike. I'm back again. I got another video today. I got a Jeep Grand Cherokee in for an interior detail and just a basic wash on the outside. Uh, it's gonna sell it, so it's a little dirty. It sits outside. It's been sitting under a tree, so let's take a look. So what we got here is it's just look like it needs some iron decon on some rims and it's gonna need some wheel well. Gonna need a little bit of cleaning down there. Up here doesn't need too bad. It's got some uh just got some dirt just basically just sitting there on the panels. Seems to be cleaned up a little bit. Where I do see a lot of it though is uh, if I pull this up where it's gonna be fun to watch. I'm gonna put a little APC on here. It's gonna be fun cleaning all this up. It's just got a little mildew. It's not mold, it's just mildew from just sitting. I'll clean that up. But it's in for an interior detail, so we gotta clean this up. It's not too bad. It's got a little oxidation, clear coat failure. So we're gonna put a little APC here. Let it soak in a little bit. So when I do the wash, this should be easy to clean up. This is the interior for the cleanup. Seats are going to get done. Oh man, down all up in there. So we're going to spray all this with APC before the wash starts so we can let it soak. Oh yeah, look at all that. It's all built up up in there. Looks like there's no mold or nothing in here, so we're good on the seals. Seats are a little tore up a little bit. A lot of build up on the handle, on the steering wheel. It's got 200, 19,000 miles on it. It's not too bad. So, let's see. Looks like the tires have been rotated because the back ones are more dirtier than the front, which is normally not the case. Wish I can do a polish on this, but it's not what he wants. It's not what he's paying for. He's paying for just a, an interior job, and we just added a wash onto it. Uh, normally, for interior on a midsize for me is is one sixty five, and I'm charging twenty five bucks to just wash it. So, no, 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 I'm charging thirty five bucks. It's two hundred dollars for this job right here. So, uh, if you like watching detailing videos, product reviews, the live streams I do in the weekends how-to videos, all that other stuff that we do. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below. In the meantime, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Come on, back up. Come on, you gotta move. You gotta move, girl. Okay, you get back up now. <laughs> the Meguiar's D14301, the non-acid tire wheel cleaner, is what I'm using here. It's effective and easy clean on wheels and tires. It quickly removes brake dust and road grime, light grease and dirt, spray on and lightly agitate and hose off. It's a pretty easy, it's effective, easy clean on wheels and tires. Quickly removes brake dust, road grime, light grease, and sprays on and lightly removes agitate and hoses off. It's pretty simple. It, uh, it makes it easy to clean up here. And the pump sprayer, I got uh, super clean, diluted uh, four to one. And then uh, I just spray that in the wheel wells. And then uh, I, I think I spray a little bit on the tires too, help clean up a little bit. Makes it easy to clean. And uh, Super Clean is a, one of my go-tos to use to uh, clean everything up. Works real well.
I'm using an orange degreaser here. It's a professional strength citrus based formula. It removes tough grease, grime, dirt, and debris. It works fast to loosen up and emulsify grease, oil, dirt, grime. It's easy to rinse. It's super concentrate and can be diluted if desired. I diluted it five to one because there are some heavy, uh, dirty areas. And it made easy work to clean up. So I got the car washed and everything. Uh, I didn't, I, I filmed it all, but I just didn't put it in the video. I'm trying to keep the video to a minimum of, trying to keep it under 30 minutes, but sometimes I don't always keep it like that. So I got my rigid shop back. I'm vacuuming the whole car out. Uh, the brushes I use, of course, I'm using proper detail company brushes. I love them. Uh, between them and the lithium car care brushes, those are the probably the only two brushes I'll uh, probably ever use. Uh, this can be tough for me to move away from them too, because them two brushes are the probably the for me are the best ones because I do have big hands and them two have really good grips that, that, that fit my hands really well. So I, I do like them brushes and they, and they handle real well. They're both chemical resistant and they and they handle they they, they last so they work well for me. So. Uh, uh, the Ridge of back works good for me. So I think it's got a 3.5 horsepower. I, I do want to upgrade it to a 5 horsepower, but it's working for me so far.
So at Home Depot, they have the DeWalt pump sprayers. I think they're about $32, I think. And I have a couple of them. Uh, and they also come with like five different tips. And uh, I, I, I absolutely love them. They're, they're, they're great. And uh, and I'm a DeWalt guy anyways. I, everything I have is DeWalt. But uh, I have Lightning Fast in there. It's De, and it's, it's heavily diluted. I think I put like two gallons of, of distilled water. And then I put like, I don't know, like four pumps of, uh, of lightning fast in there. I think each pump is an ounce, so I probably have four ounces in there. It's, it's probably still too much, but then I put a shot of uh, something else in there just for some fresh smell. But uh, but that's what I use for my for carpet cleanings, lightning fast from Chemical Guys. And then uh, I got my Vac Master, which I love. The hose is freaking long. That's why I love it. I mean, if I was to use the Bissell, which I still have, the Bissell would probably have to sit up there because the hose is only like three feet long, which the Vac Master hose got 10 feet long, which I freaking love it. And that holds like eight gallons of water, which the Bissell only holds like a half a gallon. And you got to empty it out every time you do do a pass. It's a figure of speech, but it's just, you know, that's why I like the Vac Master so much. So... That's those tools I'm using at the moment, and then on the uh, cordless drill, I just have the, uh, I just got a, a soft uh, brush for the, uh, just for to loosen up some stuff, and then I got the steam also coming up. Nonsense, which is a colorless and odorless all-surface cleaner with my steamer. It's colorless, odorless cleaner. It's low foam and more effective cleaning power. Removes dirt and grime stains. It's transparent cleaning technology. It's concentrated so the product can be diluted according to the needs. And I think I use it five to one. Uh, stains in here on the plastic, which uh, I'll only use the nonsense on the plastic in here, weren't too bad. So uh, I used to still water. Uh, on everything so I think uh, still water and a couple pumps of uh, I buy by the gallon and, and a couple pumps of that and then good to go the McCulloch 1385 steamer um, most of the time you can get it on Amazon on sale it's pretty close to the same price of the uh, McCulloch 1375 the 1375 is a little smaller uh, the 1385 is has a bigger canister holds uh, more water I used to still water in there always used to still water in the steamer always 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 used to still water in your steamer uh, the 1385 also comes on wheels, uh, but they all, both of them do come with uh, accessories where you can use it in-house also. Uh, you can use it on tile floors, uh, sinks, uh, showers, all that kind of stuff. So it's versatile. So if you ever think about wanting to use anything besides just using it on your car, I have the link in the description down below if you want to take a look at it. Uh, it, it's it's a great investment to use.
so the video is getting close to the end I just want you guys to know I don't know what happened I did have a clip of going through the whole car when it was all nice and clean I had it in the driveway it was foggy outside though it was it was super cold and I don't know what happened to the clip of the final product but it, it's not on my it wasn't on my chip so uh, I don't have the final shots of everything but um, car came out freaking phenomenal the owner was ex he liked it um, I don't know if he sold it or not so I don't know but as you can tell when I went through everything how clean everything was this was the final piece here was the, was clean the windows so if you like watching detailing videos product reviews how-to videos and the live streams I do on the weekends do me a favor hit that subscribe button down below until next time we'll see you